Good morning, comic book fans. Welcome back to Power Comics. Um, this is just the regular old uh, new comic book day video. Uh, I've got some things I might want to review later on, but for now it's just going to be like, hey, look at all the cool stuff we have. Um, and there's a lot of cool stuff. I might have to actually move a few things around uh, because there's a whole bunch of stuff which is like just merch and things that I need to go through first. A lot of merch. A lot of it. But it's great. There's, most of it's been ordered for people. Excuse me one second. <coughs> Slightly wet cough there. Uh, but the, uh, a lot of the DC stuff... Um, I think we've got like one that's been reserved so far, but if you see anything that you like and you can come to my store or get in contact with my store, let me know. Could be for you. Um, so let's make a start. Oh, um, before I forget, uh, next week our delivery is on Thursday because uh, the um, Easter bank holiday weekend, our supplies shut Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So stuff that usually we packed on the uh, Thursday to come out on the Friday is going out on the Wednesday, uh, so Tuesday the following week, uh, to then be shipped on the th Wednesday. We'll get it on the Thursday. It's awkward, I know, but we will get it in eventually. Just be patient with us. Um, for now, though, let's look at some cool stuff we've got today. I'm move the thing around a little bit. Oh, poor Declan. Oh, baby. Oh. Uh, it, and there's going to be loads of stuff that Declan isn't interested in, and he's turned up to watch it. And now I'm spending even longer talking about merchandise he doesn't care about. Check out this amazing action. No, I'm not. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, Star Wars. Uh, this is the Black Series, but it's the Deluxe Boba Fett. Uh, it doesn't say Deluxe on there, but uh, when I ordered it, it told me it was Deluxe. Uh, I think it's because he's got all the cool life stuff on there. <laughs> Hasbro toy, uh, Ultra Magnus. Um, kind of well, one of these myself. I really, I, I liked Ultra Magnus when I was a kid. I had uh, this, well, a very similar toy to this one, obviously. Uh, but two of these, one of them is ordered, so we have one spare. Uh, a couple of the uh, more black series, uh, the Rebel series. Uh, on our actual invoice, advance invoice, uh, we only had one of these listed, but two have arrived. Uh, one of them was definitely for a certain person. I think the one's for him as well. Um, but uh, what we've got here. Oh, uh, Ahsoka and Ezra. So, yeah, there we go. Both of those. Uh, and those are definitely reserved. Uh, we also have uh, General Grievous. Uh, again, with two of these. That one is reserved for people. This one uh, is uh, available for sale. Very, very cool it is. Sorry, I'll put stuff down on one side to make room because I'm going to have to move other stuff around. Uh, none of these are ordered. We have three of the RC Deluxe RCs. Um, really do like this figure. It looks very, very cool. Um, I'm very happy we've got some spares of those. Huh? Uh, then we've got... These are reserved, but we've got three each of them to go out, because uh, I do like the little ones. These are like about ten or each or something, so they're like pocket money kind of price, uh, prices, um, and they're also very, very cool. Uh, and these two have definitely been ordered. Um, the 86, uh, Transformers the movie, Scourge, and another one of my favourites, although uh, Hot Rod is very cool. Um, I wonder if they're going to do a Rodimus Prime, um, which will be even more cool. Okay, so you think I'm done? I'm not done. Just going to move another stack of action figures forwards. Uh, start off with the DC uh, Multiverse. Uh, this is Last Night on Earth, I think they're doing. Um, Scarecrow. Uh, and you may notice there's a, something in this box bigger than the Scarecrow figure itself. It's because uh, DC are doing a builder figure thing. Uh, we only have one each of these, so I'm hoping they all go to the same person. Uh, we also have the Wonder Woman. Uh, Batman, looking very, very cool there. And finally, Omega. Who's looking even cooler than the rest of them? That is just an awesome action figure. And uh, if you get all four of those, you could make a Bane as well. Uh, and now I've got the other multiverse stuff. Uh, Robin. I think we've just got the excuse me, just got the one Robin. So if you want that one, don't miss out on it. Uh, Red Sun Superman. Uh, we've only got one spare of this because uh, other ones have been spoken for. Um, Batman Earth Two: um, uh, The Drowned. I think. Oh, it's just it's just down as Batman Earth Two, but I think it is The Drowned. Um, is the actual name of that one, um, and then just we've got a few of this one because it's just a little bit kick ass. Uh, the Batman, um, uh, Multiverse Batman, uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal. Uh, and on the picture on the back there, you see him on his bike. Uh, I can't remember the last week or the week before. We've got that bike in now. I'm not entirely sure if this figure can sit the bike, but if it could, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Uh, almost done on merch now. Last thing, uh, let's take the wrap off this one to show it. Uh, DeLorean Glass uh, Back to the Future. This one has been ordered for somebody. Uh, they've also got some action figures on order, so I'm going to put this back in wrapping and keep it safe until we've got enough to be worth getting in contact with. I'm back. Uh, books now. Um, Goblin Slayer, Side Story, number two, Daikatana, The Singing Death, book one, just in case you wanted to do something with a really long title. Uh, these two have both been ordered. Somebody has asked for these ones specifically, and we've never been asked them before. Um, I'm not 100 sure I pronounce this one. Danganronpa, 
another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, Volumes 2 and 3. Um, these have been ordered, we've got the rest of these coming in. Uh, this one is a, a reprint, but I kind of like the look of it, and I like Steve Nile's artwork. Uh, also, I like Steve Nile's artwork, uh, just anyway. Um, I think it's in Heartland. Um, it's one that I've kind of got so I can flick through it myself and see how it goes, but it does sound very, very cool. Uh, big release this week, Cinema Purgatorio. Um, this is Cinerama. Uh, and it's not collecting all the Cinema Purgatorio stuff they were doing. It is like the lead story, the Cinema Purgatorio miniseries, as it were. Um, and it's ordered to get all Alan Moore stuff. We have a few of these. Uh, not like a buttload, but if you want one, get in touch. Uh, probably the bigger release for our store, though, is Hellblazer Volume 2. Um, we've only got one spare of this at this point in time. All the rest of them have been ordered. Uh, Usagi Ujimbo Origins, uh, which I think is the... Is it the recolored stuff? Yeah. Um, so, yes, it collects many of Usagi's earliest, earliest adventures. Um, we have a few people actually get some Usagi Jimbo. So, oh, uh, I should have got that rather than single issues. Um, yeah, to be honest, I'm tempted Declan to buy one of those myself. Because if I want to go back and read Cinema Purgatorio, um, that's probably the bit of it I want to go back and reread. So, yeah, it's downside easier than digging out how many issues and that are all singly sealed. Uh, Kill White Donovan Collection, one of my favourites from last year. Very, very cool. Highly recommended. Uh, and lastly, in terms of the books, uh, this is one of those things that I've got because I want it. Um, but if anyone sees this and goes, you know what? I really want to give role playing a try in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Maybe I should get that. Cool. Let me know. I'll happily sell it you instead of buying it myself. I have no issue with that whatsoever. But you've got a couple of weeks, um, well, actually, you know, a few weeks now, uh, sorry, eBay thing. Uh, once um, I get paid, um, I'll probably just buy it myself. It's not cheap, it's like 50 quid and change. Uh, but I do like Warm 40,000 stuff. I've been getting quite back into it at the moment as well, bringing a lot of the books. So I thought, yeah, they've got the new um, rule book out for Wrath and Glory. Um, and unlike the uh, Fighting Fantasy, Final Fantasy ones, whatever it is, can't remember now, um, it's not like a, a different book per part of the 40k universe. Uh, this has basically everything you need to play it, um, and it's Cubicle 7, who is a very, very cool company. I used to do some writing for them, just like random like, blog posts and the like, but um, I do like the, their stuff, so happily to give that one a go. I'll say, if you want it, get in touch. I'll happily let somebody else take it home with them, but if not, it's mine. Right, now, if you want a second, we're almost at the bit where we actually have to do comic books, but I need to go and get them. Don't go anywhere. Sorry, it's just with the amount of merch we had, I needed to do it separately. There's no way I could have got everything onto the counter at the same time. Stuff would have fallen over. Uh, but since we're now on to comic books, let's see what we've got. Uh, Avengers. But not just Avengers. Curse of the Man Thing. Sorry. It's hard to basically think about that title and not think it's silly. Uh, but regular comic books now. Batman and Catwoman. Uh, excellent bit of Tom King, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. Uh, plus really good artwork. Like, genuinely loving it. Um, Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer doing Beta Ray Bill, or Beta Ray Bill, should I say. Um, it's been one of the things I've been paying attention to because I really did like Daniel Warren Johnson. Um, he did one of my best of the year thing a while ago. Um, and I've been following his artistic process. Um, but yeah, that's a fairly good splash page to start that one off. Unfortunately, I think I've only got one spare. So if somebody else claims that last one before I get it, that's it. I'm out of luck. But you know, I can't just order everything that I want. Uh, Black Cat, uh, just carrying on there. Uh, Tennessee Coates carrying on doing his Captain America. More very, very cool Alex Ross covers from it there. Uh, because it's always fun when people mess around a little bit. Uh, a crossover with the uh, sideways on there. But inside it's normal, just for fun. Uh, Damned, uh, Cursed Children. Uh, unfortunately, somebody added this one on um, when issue one was already out. So issue one and two have gone to back order. And three's arrived before one and two have. So I do feel bad for that. But hopefully they're on the way. They haven't been declared out of print yet. Uh, and I think, I think this might be the last decorum. Uh, covers A and B there. Uh, if it's not the last, it's certainly getting near the end. Uh, and then our biggest seller at the moment, so one of the biggest sellers, uh, Department of Truth um, by Tinian, with the uh, rather awesome cover B there for myself. And now another Dragon Age. I really should go back and replay the last Dragon Age at some point. Second last, thank you, Declan. Uh, new Dragon Age. Uh, I think we have one or two spare of that, if anyone does want to jump on. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Blood. Uh, I really wanted the Hoy comics to do way better than they have done. Like, Don't get me wrong, there's probably people out there spending their money on them, but the amount of cool stuff they put out really early on feels like they've kind of fizzled a little bit, which is a damn shame. Um, Firefly, 
I'm still really liking this one. And that is a very, very nice cover. Really kind of minimalist, and I like the art style on it. It does look kind of like watercolor over ink, which I really do enjoy. So very, very cool. Uh, next up, more Infinite Frontier uh, Flash, uh, which is a five dollar comic book, so a little bit more than usual, but it does feel heftier. You are getting your bang for your book there. Um, something which I thought was already done by now, but apparently not. Uh, a couple more future state, well, just a one uh, Superman versus Imperious Lex. And after a long delay, uh, Giga issue three, just in case anyone needs some giant robots in their life. Uh, then Zach Thompson's I Breathe the Body, which was an excellent bit of a uh, gross out horror. Uh, Some King in Black now, uh, Ghost Rider, which is going to be just a one shot, uh, Return of the Valkyries, issue four. So I'm trying to get the light on that properly. And then this one, I think, is actually some bit of Spider Man that's tied into King in Black, so I need to move that. But um, yeah, that's there as well. Uh, now, more of uh, the ones for younger readers, uh, Marvel Action Spider Man. It keeps restarting this one, um, and it always does like just a couple of sales at a time. It's not huge for us, but I like that they keep doing it. Uh, Nuclear Family. I really should have read issue one of this. Uh, Stephanie Phillips is good. Um, still got a couple of, you know, I might actually go re back and reread it at some point. Um, a new launch one, Power Rangers Unlimited. Um, at the moment, there's two other ongoing uh, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers. Excellent idea for the names there. Uh, but it's one of those weird things that not many people seem to order them from, which I think is a, a bit odd, say, how many people actually seem to like these when you look online. So every once in a while, I do give them a try. Uh, sea of Stars, next by Dwick. Um, that cover is just fantastic. Uh, another new one now from uh, Image, uh, Shade Craft. Um, no idea what's going on this one. Kind of ordered it because I like the cover. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, and another one for me coming up, uh, Shadow Service. That's cover B for me. This was brilliant. When they got to the end of the first volume, I was very happy to see that they actually done a second volume for a while. Carrying on doing it. Not done second volume. It's just issue seven. But, you know, it still it works. Uh, and a relaunch of Silk. If anyone wants to give that one a try, uh, Spawn ongoing, uh, Todd McFarlane still doing his thing. Another one for me, it's a good week for me actually. Uh, Strange Adventures, uh, regular cover and cover B. And again, I do like the fact that they always take the time to make these covers look like an alternate viewpoints of the same thing, which are very in keeping with the theme of Strange Adventures. Almost done. Uh, what we got left? Uh, Transformers, um, which is just a regular ongoing Transformers. Uh, nice cover there. Somebody whispering in somebody else's ear. Very, very well done. Uh, one for me, uh, Two Moons, because I really enjoyed issue one. Very glad to keep doing that one. Uh, the Union, um, which I think was originally tied into the King in Black, but now it's just um, for carrying on doing what he's doing. Uh, US Agent, uh, if anyone uh, recognizes that name from a recent TV show. Uh, another cool bit with the, the covers, uh, Usagi Jimbo, Wonders Road. Excellent artwork for that one. Uh, Vengeance of Vampirella, one of the many Vampirella spin offs. Uh, another new one, Vault Comics, so generally imp impresses me. And we've got something which is clearly vampiric in nature, um, uh, Witch Blood. Um, just do like that as a title, by the way, Witch Blood. That sounds cool. Uh, so I'll give that one a read later. Uh, new one from Witcher. Uh, this is the, also the last issue of Fading Memories, but all those covers have been fantastic. Uh, then our actual biggest seller of the week, because it always is, X-Men from Hickman. Um, we've always got tons of that in. Almost done now. I've got the last couple left uh, with this very uh, very 90s cover, X-Men Legends number two. Um, I mean, throw a few more pouches on there and, you know, jobs are good. Um, even seems to have made a little bit of effort to show some feet, which is quite nice. Uh, and then last but not least, Young Hellboy. Um, and that's it. That's all the comic books for this week. That's all the merch for this week. That's everything. I'm now going to get started on uh, getting these invoices sorted out. Um, as I said at the beginning, next week, um, our delivery is on Thursday, uh, which basically means from this week on, I'm going to come in on Friday, which I know is a good Friday, but technically I work Easter uh, Friday anyway. I never close a shop that day. Uh, so I'll be coming in to make sure everything is posting. It will get posted out. Um, but then after Friday, I'm taking off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, if we end up selling a whole bunch of stuff online and people pay a whole bunch of invoices. I might come down in on the Tuesday just to post things out. Uh, but don't expect to see much of me over the coming week um, because it's Easter and my suppliers take a long ass holiday. So I don't have much to do. Um, it does mean though, when things arrive on the Thursday, they are available for sale straight away um, rather than usually we get to on a Tuesday like today. I can't post things until the Wednesday. Uh, but 
depending on when the delivery arrives and what's in it, if they arrive on Thursday and they don't get here until late in the day, by the time I've sorted everything and sent out all the invoices, if people are paying on the Thursday, I still might not get to the post office until the Friday. Uh, it's just one of the things about this kind of business at the moment. Um, it's a shame we're not going to be open to let people in on that Thursday because people just come and grab them on the day and it'd be fine. But it has to be this way for now. But then I think the week after that, let me bring up my calendar to make sure I am not lying. Um, so the delivery will be Thursday the 8th, but then Tuesday the 13th, we are open. Um, so you will actually then be able to come into the store. We still won't be able to tell you things on the Tuesday, but at least people can come in again, and that'd be lovely to see you all. Uh, until that point, though, um, look after yourself, stay safe. Bye.